<laughs> oh, man. I gotta tell you, I am gonna miss these afternoon delights once I'm back to performing miracles. You telling me that the uh, board agreed to talk with you? No, not yet. All in good time. Because of the work that you're doing trying to find a cure for Angie? Well, you know what they say about karma, right? Oh. Yes, I do. And, uh, I don't think sinking our good friend, the chief of police, is going to get me nominated for sainthood. All right, first of all, Jesse is not your friend. Huh. And second, you're just following the mayor's orders. Iris wants him out. Okay? So what, you telling me that gives me a pass? This is not part of the DA's job description. Hey, look, why don't you get dressed and we'll go grab a late lunch, huh? You can't be serious. What's the big deal? There is no big deal. Mm. At least there isn't supposed to be, right? I asked you to lunch, not to get married. Crazy me thought you might have actually worked up an appetite as well. Liza. But since the idea of uh, being seen with me out in public is so obviously horrifying, that is not you what I said. can forget it. Because the offer has been rescinded. Is this seat taken? I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings early. Wow. You know, you know your ego just never ceases to amaze me. Well, you just seemed a bit upset when I hesitated. Hesitated. Mm -hmm. David, you know, you look like I, I offered up some sort of couples waterboarding session. No, I wasn't hurt. Irritated? You know, sometimes lunch, it's just lunch. So you're not developing any... Oh, God, no. David, you're just a release. That's all. Hmm. So that's what we're calling it. Oh, good, because, you know, I don't think that either one of us want things to get complicated. Agreed? Agreed. You gonna sit down or what? Now, there's the lies I've come to know, intimately. You know, I've got an idea. I'm going to be working with Angie, which means I will also be privy to Jesse's comings and goings. So how would you like it if I give you updates? I would like that very much, actually. Thank you. Well, it's my pleasure. Mm. I mean, after all, it is part of our agreement, right? To help each other with our respective comebacks. I, uh, you know, I've really been thinking about that, and I'm not sure how I'm supposed to help you. I, I, don't, I don't have as much of as an acquaintance over at the hospital. No problem there. I am way ahead of you. I plan on meeting with the powers that be this afternoon. You're telling me that the board actually agreed to talk with you? Oh, right. You mean the powers that be, meaning the powers that be greenly. I thought you guys already talked. Hey, it helps to be persistent, right? I mean, after all, I did save the woman's life. So now if I can just remind Greenly that I'm in the business of performing miracles, she might cut me a break. I can't believe you are actually still in love with her. No, look. I am just trying to get my life on track. That's all. Mm. Listen, what do you say we go somewhere where they'll actually serve us? I get the feeling that Crystal's paying people extra to ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding. You wanna blame this on Crystal, too? Actually, you can blame it on Ryan. He rented the place out for us. Wow, what a big surprise. Mr. Romantic is at it again. Oh, wait a minute. Um, actually, I was going to stop by and see you. Why? Strictly business, but now you've saved me the trip. Well, I'm going to move my client meeting back to Crystal's. Good thing we took separate cars. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Oh, um, I was having engine trouble. Liza was driving by when I was checking it out. Uh, she offered me to give me a lift, and I told her I would risk it. Right. Make sure that you change that oil, because sometimes it gets really disgusting. Thank you. Well, it's uh, a little early for an anniversary. It's definitely not your birthday, so what's the big occasion? What do you want, David? Aren't we testy? Don't tell me this trouble in paradise. Talking about Ryan. 
Hey, that works for me. I just wanted to fill you in on the research I've been doing. And I would care about this research. Why? Angie Hubbard saved your life, right? Well, I thought you'd be interested to know that I'm helping to improve hers. How? By finding a cure for her condition. I thought you hated Angie. Turning over a new leaf, remember? Oh, that's right, using your powers for good. Yeah, trying to. <laughs> Why? You don't believe me? No, David, I don't. You don't do anything unless there's something in it for you. This is no exception. Wow. What? Something is really bothering you, isn't it? Then make it go away. Isn't life with Lavery the nonstop bliss you thought it would be? We're solid. You forget I know you better than anyone, Greenlee. No, you don't know me. You don't know who I am now, because being with Ryan brings out the best in me. And I suppose I bring out the worst. Let's just say I like me a whole lot better now. It must be tough, knowing that he will never love you for who you really are, as I did. That you will never live up to his standards. What he sees as flaws, I see as perfect. So the meeting with Greenlee went that well, huh? I'm not giving up. On your career or on her? Why do you keep going there? Gee, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's because you tripped all over yourself, making sure that nobody knows that we're actually sleeping together. Well, of course I did. I thought that's what you wanted. <laughs> 